How close was Devin Lerritt to defeating Levon Saganishvili back when they pulled in 2022? As everyone knows, when Devin competed against Levon the first time, he sustained a lot of damage to his bicep muscle in round two. This took his already slim chances of winning to zero. But before this in round one, although Devin only got a very brief stop, his confidence instantly skyrocketed. It looked like he felt something that made him think he was about to win that match. After this, he goes over and talks to Levon in his corner and tells him that he's about to win. And obviously, that didn't happen. But did Devin really think he was about to win? Or was he just trying to get in Levon's head? How close was he to getting a real stop? Here's an interview clip with Devin and Travis Bajant where they discuss exactly that. Am I wrong by thinking you were one motherfucking tiny fucking else away from just right there at the beginning of that match? So that's that's why after round one, you saw me go over and tell him I was like, I'm gonna fucking beat you because I felt it. I felt it round one. I'm like, okay, typically when this happens, when I can get that stop at that point in round one, typically I'll turn it around. All I can do is is uh, make the best use of my time between then and now, like just be as strong and healthy as I can possibly be. So as we can hear, Devin thought that he was really, really close. One thing about Devin Lerritt is that as soon as the match is over, he drops all of the trash talk he was implementing to try to get into his opponent's head. He instantly changes from the most provocative puller in the sport to someone who is very respectful toward his opponents. And this means that it's actually pretty difficult to get a gauge as to what Devin actually thinks. If you ask Devin right before he faced Levon, he might tell you that he's going to crush him. He's going to be talking all the smack in the world. But if you asked him right after, he might say that Levon is way stronger than he is and that he can't beat him. He would say Levon is the Everest of the sport. So what happened is right after the match, everyone was asking Devin if he thinks he could have won if he didn't get injured. But Devin defaulted to showing Levon respect rather than taking away credibility from his victory by blaming an injury. However, the more time that passed after this match and the closer we've gotten to the rematch, Devin has really started changing his opinion. Or what I think is more likely is that this was his opinion the whole time, but he was censoring it since he didn't want to take anything away from the Levon victory. And now, as we get closer to their rematch, Devin is shifting back into trash talk mode where he's not afraid to say what he really thinks. Now, of course, he might just be saying these things to get into Levon's head and he doesn't truly believe them. But if we take a look at that first round and compare it to matches like Dave Chafee versus Devin at WAL, for example, it really does look super similar. And Devin does end up defeating Dave in that match by bleeding him out. Another thing Devin said recently is that if he is 3% stronger than last time and Levon is 3% weaker, he's going to destroy him. This again would indicate that Devin thinks that match was a lot closer than it appeared on the surface and that he really did have a good chance of winning. And when we take everything into consideration, as far as the rematch goes, Devin has everything he would need to give him that 3% edge like he's talked about. With all the stem cell treatments Devin's had, he's probably way less likely to get another injury. The elbow pads are bigger, so the King's move will work better. The rule system favors him, and on top of that, he probably is a few percentage points stronger just in general. The other factors will only amplify this, so I think that Devin probably genuinely gives himself a good chance of winning this rematch. And he probably even thinks that he could have won the last time they faced if he didn't get injured. But let me know what you guys think about this. Do you think that Devin believes that he truly could have won against Levon if he didn't get injured? Or do you think he's simply starting the good old trash talk back up again just like he always does?